I feel strongly that the LGBT community is an important part of Cummins. We have a strong history of diversity, of trying to encourage talent and the development of talent and, and the welcoming of people from all over that can help the company. And that's certainly true in the LGBT community. Sure. And frankly, not all parts of the community are safe for our LGBT community. We want to make Cummins a safe place. We want to make it welcoming. We want to promote and develop people. We want to make them feel like being part of our company helps them reach their potential and from a career point of view. But a lot of places don't welcome them like they should. And I think it's perfect for our company to be part of making the community more welcoming. We do it along a lot of dimensions of diversity. This one seems as important, if not more important, especially from a safety point of view. I was not out in high school, um, even though I knew that I was gay from a very young age, um, and lived a high school life that was somewhat like theater, uh, pretending to be someone that I really wasn't. You couldn't pay me enough to go back to high school. High school was rough. One night I was laying in my dorm and I thought I should just go to the roof and jump off and kill myself because it's just, this wasn't in my life plan. I didn't know how to act around people. I had an eating disorder and I, I caused a lot of trouble in high school. I was a bad kid. Growing up, I never really fit in. People talk about gays and, and those queers and the venom that you would see in their faces when they talked about it was made it pretty clear to me at a very young age that that's not something you can ever be open about. You know, just having that constant kind of uh, fear in your mind and constant pressure of, um, of you being different and people are going to make fun, I think that's just, that's just excruciating. I got basically followed home by a couple of the uh, ag group guys uh, in their pickup trying to run me off the road and, and uh, chase me to my house. Actually uh, decided they were going to teach me what real men were like. Actually, my girlfriend at the time we were out and we were both beat up um, and called a lot of slurs and um, that was really a, a point for me where I, where I decided, man, you just can't do this. They will kill you. Growing up as a teenager, as an adult, age doesn't matter in a country that has the death penalty for being openly gay. One of the earliest things I remember learning after our son came out and I began doing a lot of research about the state of the culture and LGBT inclusion in our country was the simple observation that there are people not far from where we live who would murder my son on the basis of his sexual orientation alone without having learned so much about him as his name. 28 years later, I can tell you, it does get better. It's not always what it seems. It's not going to be hard all the time. You just have to persevere. Things will get better. It will get better. Todo mejorará. It will get better. I know people have always said it, but God doesn't make mistakes. That um, you were meant to be who you are for a reason. Feeling the, the real emotions of uh, falling in love or having such a great time with friends who truly accept you, I didn't do those things until so late in my life and I absolutely regret it. It's important to feel um, natural and it's important to be who you are, not to pretend to be somebody else. There is so much out there. Now, it might not be in your hometown, it might not be 10 miles away, but it's out there. You just have to find it. When I decided that I was gay, it was like a clarity that just came over me and everything kind of cascaded from there and I was able to just live my life better. You may be the only one you know of in your town or where in your school or whatever, but there are lots of people. There are lots of us out there that have gone through similar things. Tie a knot in the end of the rope and hang on. It will get better. It gets better. It really does get better. It's easier for me now that I have friends that are gay too. I have a church where one of my pastors is gay. I work for a company that celebrates the fact that members of the LGBT community are part of it. And I find myself surrounded by people who 
love me and support me and encourage me and fight for me and inspire me. I think the biggest factor is one day you're gonna wake up and decide, who cares? Who cares what people think and who cares what people do or stop doing? You know, you just have to make yourself happy. Be who you are, be true to yourself. And once you meet the person that makes you the way I felt, you'll realize that it was worth all the pain you went through. Hang in there, it will get better. It gets better. It gets better. It gets better. It gets better. Trust me, it'll get better. It gets so much better. It gets better. It gets better. It gets better. It gets better. It, I think it definitely has gotten better. Cummins is proud to support the Trevor Project as well as the It Gets Better campaign. For more information about these organizations, visit thetrevorproject.org and itgetsbetter.org. If you are feeling alone or in need of help, please call 866-488-7386.